Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a macro to quickly automate column widths without using VBA. So first of all, I've got a small spreadsheet on the screen here. If I just bring the columns in, so we've got some hashes, which is what you see when you can't see all the data with numbers or dates. Uh, with text, it's slightly different because you can see that there's an overlap there. It's sort of like put behind now to quickly rectify this what you can do is you can click on this little triangle to the left of letter of the letter a and then double click on any of these dividing lines between the column letters so i'll go for this one and that will do the auto fit feature now if i record myself doing that with a macro and then attach the macro to the quick access toolbar i should have that available to me in any spreadsheet so let's just get some ashes there now, to get the macro, I'm going up to the developer tab. If you haven't got the developer tab on, you can go from review, but to get the developer tab, you can just basically right click on any other tab, customize ribbon, and then tick developer on there. And then it's once it's ticked, it stays on. So on the developer tab, I'm going to use this feature, record macro, and I'll just call it wide or widen. And it's in my personal macro workbook click ok to that now it's recording i'm going to click on this triangle to the left of the letter a and then double click to widen everything and then just click off that so nothing selected stop the macro now i need to go up the top on the quick access toolbar come down to more commands to find that macro which is in this area, popular commands, macros, and then you want the one that says widen. There she blows, click on that, add it across, and then you can change the symbol from that to one of these. Now, I'm not sure what to pick here, but all of these are, let's go for this checkered box option, click OK, OK, and then that symbol is sitting up there in the quick access toolbar and if i just make these a bit narrower again i should now just be able to click on that now if i just save this file for a second so i'll just save it as mac it's gone into documents so i've saved it don't need to um, auto correct on now that's saved but that's still up there if i just copy this copy Control N for new, Control V for paste, and then I'm going to make these a bit narrower in a different file, like this. What I should be able to do is click that button and the macro runs and it does the, the auto fit for me, sorting out any issues with hashes. So that's just a very quick video of how you can automate the, the auto fit feature using a quick record macro. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.